Hi, this is Sonia the RV DJ, and today we are going to be installing our bird feeder pole into the ground. And we have all of our pieces out already. There's uh, three poles. We have the stake that goes into the ground. And the first step is to thoroughly sift the ground. So we did that. Let it sit for a bit so that the puddle will dissipate. And now we're going to put the stake in the ground, and this has to go all the way down. Hopefully, we can get it all the way down. There are some rocks in this set of soil. So, we've got our piece of wood, our mallet, and our stake. I think that'll be good because I keep hitting rocks. Straighten it out. Alright. Alright, so now that we have the stake totally in the ground, you just add the extension poles to the height that you would like. Just make sure that this is Let's go up to 75 inches. Now we're going to fill our feeder up the rest of the way. And we put the top back on, like that, and we put the thing down like that, and we have our new bird feeder. It comes out the bottom. There we go. I could have filled it up a little bit more, but there And also what we're going to do is we're going to spray the pull down with lubricant. Affiliate link in the description below for a strike hold lubricant so that the squirrel doesn't decide he's going to be slick and climb the pole because that's what they do. So I'm just going to do it from here, I guess. Or in the, the wind of the stuff. So if he decides that 
he wants to be slick and try and climb the pole. He's gonna become fireman squirrel and slide back down again. Fireman Squirrel. There you go. There you have it. Thanks for watching how we put up our bird feeder pole. Affiliate link for Strike Hold Lubricants in the description below. Also a coupon code for 10% off at strikehold.com slash the RBDJ. You get 10% off any of the Strike Hold Lubricant products. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.